Welcome to day 18 of our 40 days of faith explosion. Today, we're going to be talking on the topic, faith is loud. Faith is loud. Now, have you ever seen a quiet lion? As a matter of fact, even when the lion is silent, even the appearance of the lion is loud. Biblical faith that produces results is loud, audacious, is, is lionic. As a matter of fact, to use the words quiet, silent faith is like, it's like, it's like, it's like an opposite. As a matter of fact, they do not align. Now look at Jesus. He walked into the house of when the little girl is dead and the, 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 that the little girl was dead and the people were mourning and he walked in and said, hey, stop crying. She's not dead. She's asleep. What is that? That's loud faith. They mocked him, but the girl came back to life. When they, when they brought Jesus before Lazarus' tomb, and Lazarus was dead and, and has been kept in the tomb for four days, buried, Jesus came with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Listen to me, child of God. If you have faith, your faith must be noticeable. As a matter of fact, if those around you cannot attest to the fact that you are a man or woman of faith, I can assure you that you are not there. Because... When a, a man or woman of faith is in a place, even as a stranger, it's just a matter of few minutes once he begins to speak, they will, they, everyone will sense faith in his word because the language of faith is so different from the language of men that you cannot mistake both of them as the same. I'm telling you, faith is loud. To silence your faith is to kill your faith. To silence your faith is to kill your faith. Now, when Jesus was in the boat sleeping and the storm came to drown the boat that Jesus was in and his disciples, the Bible said they began to struggle. You know, these guys, they were fishermen. They were trying to use their skills to deal with the storm. They were trying to, you know, roll the boat, but it was not working. Then they gave up and ran to meet Jesus. Master, wake up. Care us not that, that we perish. You know what Jesus did? He stood up. He, he challenged her faithlessness and then he roared like a lion. Peace, be still. Stop. Shut up. Who does that? Faith does that. Faith, faith can, it's only faith that looks at the storm and says, shut up. Only faith that looks at death and says, get out. Only faith, my God, my God, the people of God, faith is loud. Faith is loud. Don't be tempted to silence your faith. If you silence your faith, you will silence your faith. If you silence your faith, you will silence your faith. What you believe must be seen. What you believe must be heard. What you believe must be expressed. You can't whisper to the mountain. You must say to the mountain. You can't speak to the mountain in your heart. What are you talking about? You cannot command Lazarus to come back to life in your heart. You must be willing to open your mouth because if you truly believe it, you will say it out. If you truly, as a matter of fact, refusing to say that is already a sign that you don't even believe it. If you believe it, you will say it out. Faith is loud. Faith is like a lion. It's audacious. I mean, it's, it's braggadocious. My God, my God, my God, my God. When you see a man of faith, you will know. By his action, you will know. By his words, you will know. Faith speaks very loud. So we must give expression to our faith. Otherwise, we are going to shrink our faith. Otherwise, we are going to silence the result that our faith can produce. Faith must be loud. Faith must be loud. You must be confident enough to allow, because the, the ultimate goal of this 40 days of faith explosion is to get to a point that your faith become a part of you, become a lifestyle. You become begin to live a life of faith because the Bible says the just shall live by faith. The just shall, this must be your lifestyle. It must be obvious. It must be obvious. Some time ago, it was someone told me, say, sir, I've studied you from afar. I've discovered that you're a man of faith. I said, thank you. I said, thank you. And I went back, I said, Lord, I thank you. Because this, for me, this is great. Not because I seek the applause of men, but because that means that I'm getting things right step by step. I'm getting it right step by step. And I'm going in my faith. Because if you're a man of faith, your family must know. Your wife must know. Your husband must know. Your children must know. Because, I mean, you can't hide it. I don't know how I'm going to explain. You can't hide it. You can't. It's just like a lion trying to pretend to be a sheep. You can't hide it. The moment they see you, they will know because it will speak for itself. So give expression to your faith. Give expression to your faith. When you say, I can never be poor. Is that not loud? <laughs> I can never be sick. Is that not loud? I can never die prematurely. Is that not loud? That is loud. That is loud. Sir. Honey, I had a miscarriage. Never! You can never have a miscarriage. Look at blood. Forget about that! Never! That's loud faith. You must build yourself to that point that your faith become loud and audacious because faith is like a lion. Don't silence your faith. 
If you silence your faith, you will silence the result of your faith. Your faith must be loud. You must allow faith to permeate every part of your life. That even the way you speak, your, your terminology should be different. When you hear people say something, you say, please don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. If you keep talking like that, you will see it. I'm just feeling weak. Hey, don't talk like that. Don't, you are not a man of faith. Your faith must be loud. You must keep saying, you say, let the weak say, I am strong. That is the language of faith. When men say there's a casting down, we will say there's a lifting up. That's the language of faith. Don't speak the language of the world. Even though you will see what you say. Speak the language of faith. Let it be obvious. Let people ask you and say, what are you even talking about? We are saying one thing, you are saying something else. And you say, please, 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 please. That's what I believe. That's my portion. Irrespective of what I see. Because faith is not based on circumstance. Faith is not based on fact. Faith is based on the word of God. Faith is based on the revelation. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God. So your word must be different. As a matter of fact, if you have a 20 minutes conversation with someone that does not operate in faith and there's no contradiction in your discussion in that 20 minutes, you need to go and check on your faith. I'm telling you. You can see two people that are complaining. Oh, things are just bad everywhere. It's dry. And for 20 minutes, you are complaining with them. You are not a man or woman. Sir, let's just face the fire. You are not here yet. Because you must understand that the things you say, you will have it. So you can't say the things you don't want to see. When you say, I'm going down, you keep going down. A man of faith will say, I'm rising. Things are working for my good. You say, but what are you talking about? You are living in just one room. No bed. Don't, don't bother. I have already seen where I'm going to. Yeah, God has shown me that I'm going to. I will speak it until I get there. Because what you say, you will have what you say. This is this is faith. Faith must be loud. So you need to work on that. Yeah, you need to work on that. Don't because you want to please your please whoever you are having a conversation with, you now begin to speak against what you believe in faith. If you do that, you will fracture your faith, you will puncture your faith, and you will make things difficult for yourself. Don't speak like them if you don't want to end up like them. Speak according to what God has spoken to you. Are you hearing me? Speak according to what God has spoken to your heart. Speak in line with that vision that God gave you. Speak in line with that revelation. Let it be obvious that everybody will know. Them. Let them say of you, please, you don't bother about her. She will not even agree with what you are saying because she's a woman of faith. She's a man. Let them mockingly say it, but the result will shut them up later. Faith is loud. Don't silent your faith. Now, declare after me saying in the name of Jesus, I decree that my faith will never be silent. I make up my mind today to speak in faith, to act in faith, until everyone knows that I am a believer of faith. Help me, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I hope you are blessed. See you tomorrow. My God, this journey is getting sweeter. It's getting better. Make sure you follow every of the episode every day. The Lord perfect all that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.